Virgo, are you ready? Because this reading is all about you. Virgo, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. If this is your first time arriving to the channel, my name is Michelle. Please click subscribe, help the channel grow, and ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload all my juicy content. Virgo, this is your weekly predictions for sun, moon, rising sign, wherever Virgo lies in your chart, actually, you can take this energy and apply it to that house and see how it's going to affect you. So if you guys are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, know that there will be one coming up shortly. Thank you so much in advance because that is actually a donation to the channel. It helps to sponsor the channel. And I'm very, very grateful for your patience. I'll see you in about 30 seconds. If you just sat through an awkward pause, lucky you, Virgo, you didn't have to watch a commercial. For those of you who did have to watch commercials, thank you. Once again, I really appreciate your, your patience and your contribution. Um, all right, guys. So um, let's see. Overall, what I can feel for you guys is that this is a very good time for you. It's a very prosperous time. It's almost like homecoming. Virgo, fall is a good season for you because it's it's all about family and it's all about tradition and you like the consistency of tradition and the consistency of the holiday season. Whatever holidays you celebrate, it's that consistency about it. It's being able to expect. It's the traditions of what you eat and what you do around that time that start to make a very friendly, happy environment, just atmosphere for you. Even if you're away from home right now, um, I, I, it's, it, there's, there's a sense of tradition and a sense of this season that's actually very warming to you. This week especially, and maybe today, because this energy goes from November 6th through the 13th of 2019. Um, FYI, guys, um, there, is, there will be an oracle, a full oracle spread on YouTube. And then below in the description box, there is a link to an extended video, which is a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. So back to the channeled message, that this is a time where maybe things aren't, this is a time of, of sort of in between, in between, but it's a peaceful in between. It's like being stuck at sea, but not really being stuck at sea, but having all the supplies that you need and having it be calm, beautiful water all around. And the truth is you can kind of see land in sight. So this is a sense of not being too far away from where you feel safe, but being just enough offshore to feel like you're free, to feel like you're actually broadening your horizons, spread your wings and fly, even though birds never fly that far from land, right? So this is a sense of really just enjoying um, a sense of abundance. There's a, a sense of abundance coming through for you this week. Uh, whether you get good news or good word or opportunities come in, there is a sense of flourishing and abundance. There is an interesting effect that it has on you this week, Virgo. There's a sense of humbling, of humbling and not really taking all the credit onto yourself, but feeling so overjoyed and relieved, you're actually spreading um, that joy, spreading it around, and you're spreading it through your behavior, through your interest in things that you normally wouldn't be interested in, or your flexibility of mind. Usually, you really love consistency, and it's almost like this week, you're, let's try something new. You're, you're driving that change, you're driving that, that want or desire to, um, to have or find something new. Hold on. So I think it's the feeling of relief inside of you that's 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 basically expanding outside of you and flowing over for you. So um yeah, this is interesting. So the crowning I shuffled the cards beforehand and I pulled your reading, I pulled your cards, your oracle card spread. This was the energy crowning your reading. So this is definitely a halt. This is a an open to infinite possibilities. It's basically being shut down, sort of feeling uh, turned upside down. Or, But in terms of your reading, I just feel like this is, you don't have to hope anymore. You don't have to wait anymore. Your opportunities or the feel goods have arrived for you. And now you're, in other words, you're really happy with where you are in life right now. And you're shining really brightly 
because of basically you're not moving anywhere because of where you are right now everything has come and flowed to you now it was followed by trust in divine detours and i thought that was really interesting if you're not open to possibilities maybe you're not open to the divine detours either um but that's not true i think that I think that it's the stability that you have found that has opened you very wide to wanting to try something new and sort of being liberate, liberated in your mind. Now, horse energy, normally this would be land, right? Normally this would be earth energy. But for me, this isn't. This is very air energy because it's like there's so much wind in this horse's hair, it's touching down with its hooves. But there's a sense of freedom and a sense of spontaneity in it and a sense of wildness to this horse. So I almost think that maybe, just maybe, there could be somebody that's coming into your life that is a new love interest or a new interest for something. And they're not your typical person. They're not somebody that you normally would have wanted in your life or sort of they're not somebody that you normally would have looked at, but they have definitely fascinated you and made you want to see things in a different way from a different perspective. And this week, because of that flexibility of spirit, because of that sort of open heartedness, because you are doing very well right now, I think that this is a chance for you to see things from a different perspective and even appreciate the oddities or things that don't make sense. For this week, you're, you're actually okay with things that don't make sense. It's almost like you're fascinated by things that don't have an answer. Normally, you would have wanted an answer. You would have insisted on one. But there is such an internal sense of stability. It's almost like you're steering in the direction of you want a little bit of spontaneity. You want some surprises to come in because you know whatever comes your way, you can handle it. So there is that firming feeling in your life right now that is opening you up to basically taking chances that you normally would not have taken and you're just really enjoying yourself in the moment playing um being more maybe flirtatious maybe getting out there and just sort of doing things that refuel your fire um reclaim your power right all of your power it's almost like you're getting a renewed sense of yourself back so if there has been a period uh virgo where you feel like you've lost your sexy you feel like you've lost your 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 mojo right if you feel like you've lost that, it's coming back. That pan, you remember, the, oh my God, you remember the Black Panther, the cologne from um, um, Anchorman that, that Paul Rudd had? That's what this is. This is like your, you know, it's like, it's coming back in. It's refueling, recharging you, right? And I do think this is almost like divinely guided because there could be a higher purpose for this. If your mojo comes back, this could be a period of fertility for you. So that's just an FYI. But this is definitely fertility in all ways. This is fertility um, in your future, looking into your future. This is fertility in your work. This is fertility, um, sort of anything that you, a lot of things are going to give you the opportunity to refuel yourself. Every place you go, you are going to feel a lot of confidence and be very, um, sort of, uh, I, I, all I can say is almost flirtatious. There may be somebody coming into your life that you feel very, very keen on, uh, very, very interested in somebody that resets your, uh, you know, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't just, just something that inspires you, or maybe it's not even a person. It's in the form of something that inspires you. But I feel like Stella got their groove back. Like that's what, the, what I think I'm going to name this. This reading is Virgo got their groove back. And that's what it feels like. Virgo getting their groove back because nothing is really happening. Because the storms have died down. It's this sense of, you know, what normally would have, I guess, revved other people up. You get really, you, you know, you like hanker down and and like, you know, uh, pull down the hatches and you, you prepare for the storm. But the sky has cleared and the storm has let up. And because of that, I think you are coming out to play. You feel really good, really 
Advent, um, adventurous this week, <laughs> Virgo, uh, which is not normally a, a word people use for you, but there is a sense of adventure in you. Look at you. This is completely being intrepidatious, being light, being airy, staying on the surface, having a lot of confidence and feeling really good about who you are. This could be somebody's attention being focused on you that makes you feel really good about who you are. That's why I'm saying you are either getting somebody's attention, you're getting a lot of people's attention. You're attracting a lot of people's attention and I think you like it. So you don't even have to work very hard to be that star. In fact, I would think that you almost are walked into this week being extremely unassuming, not assuming that anything special was going to happen. But when you're happy, the world feels that and people can feel the happiness rating radiating off of you even if they haven't directly spoken to you right even if, if even if um they're not the reason for your happiness even if they're not related to you at all it's just you're you're you walk into the room and there's this sort of almost wafting of joy and and radiance this week for you virgo and i think that that's going to be very good for you because you're going to have a lot of fun this week um, um, yeah, I, I'll definitely pull the full reading for you, the full romance reading for you. But what I'm saying is there is essentially, ooh, mm, something about a song turned upside down and a beautiful man, dark, dark, dark man or woman, a beautiful person, dark person with, with eyes that almost glow. If that means anything to you, a beautiful person with eyes that almost glow. You could be getting a message about this beautiful person with eyes that almost glow that is being kind of sent to you from spirit. It could be a song that you haven't heard in a long time, um, or it could just be a message from them coming out of the blue, something that almost got, I guess, held up a little bit. But this Mercury retrograde is really uncovering a lot of things that had gotten held back or had gotten buried. And it could be that message from this person that is making you feel so gosh darn good. So sort of fueled with life, but there is sort of a spiritual message in it. It's almost like a spiritual push that's guiding you to the next step because you're ready now. It's almost like you've walked through the door of abundance and now what do you do with it? Which step do you take? There seems to be a message maybe even from beyond, um, that comes through to you out of the darkness. And I don't mean darkness as in bad. I mean darkness as it could be in a dream. It could be in a dream or it could be in a memory. Um, that something sparks your memory and out of this sort of foggy place, this place of fog and um, 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 undefinedness comes this answer that you've been seeking and waiting for. And so this is a lovely week for sort of you, your mind being broadened as well as your energy being shared and abundant and you wanting to help, um, to, you, you wanting to almost just let yourself do what you had maybe kept yourself from for so, for so long. Um, or let yourself engage in things that you had held off for so long. There is definitely a sense of celebration and a pre like um, a celebration. And maybe, yeah, but it's a celebration, but it's a quiet celebration. And that's why the star card is in reverse. You are a star this week, but you don't, you and you're getting people's attention, but you're not, you're not asking for it. It's just sort of you being a magnet this week for 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 feel goodness for for and people can feel it and they they almost want to bask in your glow and you're going to enjoy and appreciate the attention, but it seems like you didn't really have to ask for it. You're just really happy this week. You're just being really playful. I want to turn the camera around just so that I can review the cards with you. Hold on, Virgo. See, so normally the star card in reverse may have been somebody trying to dull your shine. But I don't think it's necessarily somebody trying to dull your shine. I think it's you not having to try very hard to shine at all. Or maybe you intentionally trying to get out of the spotlight because there's so much attention on you. But you're not going to take anything. Nothing's going to be too heavy with you this week. 
it's all going to be very light, except for this little point right here. There was something a little bit murky, something that maybe you didn't want to hear. It says, sing your own song. You've been quiet, and maybe that's what it is. You're keeping quiet. You're keeping still. You're not saying what you would normally say, or you're not getting involved in what you normally would get involved in. Why? Because you want to protect your energy. You want to protect your abundance. You don't want it exhausting as quickly as you get it. This could be whatever resources coming in. You don't want to exhaust it as quickly as you get it. So maybe you're not talking a lot about it. Maybe you're keeping it to yourself. This happiness has come in, but you're not really... Um, you're not really um, flashing it around. Um, there's a sense of maybe you're protecting it in a way. At the same time, you in your own space feel very good. And you will be getting a lot of attention from people this week, Virgo. And that's why I'm saying this is a sexy week for you. First of all, this is a sexy card. And with these two, these two characters present, there is a lot of sense of fire, of passion, of really feeling yourself. Mm. Well, you know, I don't know. Listen, do you, girl? Do you, man? Shoot. That's all I have to say. Really feeling, it's almost like you're getting your sexy back. Virgo, this is a week where you get your groove back, where you actually feel sexy and lighter in ways that you haven't felt maybe since, maybe in years, maybe since childhood, right? This, um, this reinvigoration of your whole sense of who you are and you're just lightened up this is a detour from your normal character your normal sense of self you're just so happy you're like skipping on the water like sand sand sands piper spirit is very playful it's very happy it doesn't take much serious it's not about being serious it's about enjoying the moment and living in the moment it's a very air sign card could be very gemini or aquarian energy um, but it's it's basically this mentality of happy day, happy day of, of feeling very very good, um, and 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 regaining your sense of self. I think that, um, I, yeah, I do think this is a joy that you don't have to scream and shout about. I think this is a joy that you. This is two very playful cards, energy where you're just basically skipping through the waves. Um, but there does seem to be a sense of something. Uh, this is a song. This is always a song. But this is somebody else's song. Somebody else's song. Maybe that you turn on and play while you're, while you're skipping through the waves. That's very interesting. This could card is actually more interesting than to me than this card. Like it, I, these cards in particular, these three in particular, really kind of pose a little bit of a mystery to me uh, in terms of their energy. Their energy is still very positive, and it's still coming through as it's almost like you're you're taking a rest. You're you're staying in the in between right now to refuel your tanks. It's exactly what's happening. This is like your rest stop. For you Virgo and you can see the future you see it's guaranteed because spirit is here saying it's guaranteed and you just you're so certain of yourself right now that you have that time to just take a rest to just rest for a second this week maybe you're taking time off work maybe you're going on vacation maybe you've decided to take a vacation and that's what's really happening to like refuel yourself because you haven't been on vacation in a very long time but this does seem to be something like emotionally connected to a song that is going to help refuel you this week. I'm going to dig deeper into this over in over on Vimeo. I'm going to pull the full tarot card spread to sort of shed some light on this little canary that is upside down. And of course, I'll do the full romance reading too, Virgos. I'll see you over there.